Hello everyone and welcome to another Creative Edge video blog with me, your host Andrew. And this time um, I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial uh, on something in, instead of a speed art uh, for this video. And um, so you may have seen I recently did a um, Star Wars themed uh, image with uh, Masubi in that one. And um, there was a lightsaber in there so I thought as I'm doing another Star Wars themed one that I would do a little tutorial on how I do lightsabers so uh, let's head over to Photoshop and let's take a look so here we are with uh, my current uh, composite that I'm working through with um, this is Ash um, she goes by the Facebook profile of Ash Cosplay if you want to find her. And she recently did a uh, female version of Darth Vader. Um, so here we have the lightsaber and I want to put a blade and a glow in there. So there's, a, there's lots of different ways to do this. There's no right or wrong way but I'm going to show you the way that I'm going to do this today. So um, you can see I'm part way through composite here. So I've got her layer uh, at the top here and I'm just going to go and put a new layer beneath um, beneath her to create the blade. Now there's lots of different ways of doing the blade and um, the way I'm going to do this um, is really simply I'm going to get a brush, make sure it's on white, set the brush to a hard brush that's 100% hardness um, and I'm going to my opacity at 100% flow 100% everything at 100% and then looking here I can see the size um, of the brush and it's a little too big so I'm going to use my bracket keys on the keyboard and just shrink it down until it looks like it's just small enough to come out of uh, the front of the lightsaber there so about there that's fine and then just anywhere on here not I'm not going to specifically start down here just anywhere on here click once and go uh, a distance away hold down shift and click again and you get a very a perfectly straight um, line the thickness that you wanted the brush stroke to be. So I can now take um, my move tool and I'm going to transform it and rotate it into place. Now um, and I'm going to transform it with control T. Um, you can also do um, edit free transform and then here we have it just here. Now I've done it too long on purpose the reason being is that I want it to be coming out of the lightsaber at the right angle. I'm just going to turn off snap there because it's causing me issues. Um, and the way to do this is to make it too long and I'm going to put the rotate point at the end of the lightsaber just there and then I'm going to just rotate it until I feel it's going through the center of the blade which I think is about there, let's have a look at that mm, oh, that's nearly there isn't it, I just need to, I think I just need to rotate it a touch to the right just there, Ooh, a touch more. Mm. Maybe slightly overcook that. Let's go back a touch. So just play with this until you you're happy with the angle of your blade. I think I'm happy with it there. And now, so we've got the blade actually coming out beyond her back here, and we don't want that. So I'm going to get the eraser tool and um, make sure it's set on a hard brush there. 
there we go and just from back here just get rid of it okay so and in fact turn off the layer above to make sure yeah it's gone so you can see that it's just sitting below the the end of the the lightsaber there so um the next thing um is to add the glow to it really easy to do this uh, i'm going to use um layer styles so you just go to the bottom of your layers panel and i'm going to use out glow down here uh, so here we go with outer glow and i'm going to change it to a red a nice vivid sith red in fact i'm going to bring it down to here so it's slightly darker click ok now um, i'm going to just raise the opacity up a little bit and then expand the glow now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two versions of this so I'm going to do that one there now what you might not be aware of is that you can actually sometimes you can sometimes use some of these other um, uh, styles as outer glows, and the ways the way for you to do that is so um, drop shadow here. I can set that as a, an outer glow by picking a similar red. Yeah, so the outer glow here it has a blend mode of screen, so I'm going to set that to screen. <clears throat> um, bring the distance in so it's not offset. Bring the opacity up, and then yeah, yeah, there you go. You can see it. It's just let's do it on its on its own thing. And bring the spread up so we get a nice good strong glow from the blade turn on the other outer glow there which is a slightly bigger glow this way you get a slightly more intense glow by combining outer glow and drop shadow and using them both as an outer glow you get a slightly more intense glow. Now, I also want to have um, a very, very slight inner glow as well. So I'm going to go to inner glow up here, turn that to a similar red, just there. In fact, I'm going to, by pressing Control plus, I can black, zoom in. I want to be able to see this bit clearly. And I'm going to set. Here we go. By setting the blend mode of inner glow to normal. And I'll leave the opacity where it is for the moment. And there you go, you can see as I change the size, you can see what it's doing. It's just coming in from the edges. Now, I only want it very, very slight, just to soften the edge very, very slightly. And that's possibly enough there. Um, as, I mean, if you watch the films, you'll notice that the blade of a lightsaber is white um it's the glow around that white blade that creates the color of the lightsaber the actual blade itself is always white um and i i do see some you know sometimes on other artworks and things like that people turn the blade to be you know red or 
or blue or green. And that's actually, it, do, it never looks right to my eye because it's not how they look in the film. Um, so make sure your blade is white and then the colour of the blade is created with the glow that's around it. Okay, so there you have your basic uh, lightsaber. Uh, but there's more you can do with a lightsaber than just add kind of the blade and the glow. You can add some effects to it. So uh, making sure you're on um, your top layer here, um, we're going to add a flare. So I have, you can find flares from various stock sites online. Here's a bunch. Um, I'm going to drag one out. Very, very simple flare. Um, still got its transform handles on, but you can change the blending mode. Put it onto screen. And then I'm just going to transform it slightly, maybe not have it too strong, actually just shrink it a touch, just there, that's fine, and drop it into place. Right, so um, sometimes these flare stock flares though aren't completely black in the background, so I'm just going to raise the black point, get rid of any um, background, any Anything still showing through after changing it to screen. I'll learn to talk properly eventually. Um, and just play with the settings just a little bit. Get the flare looking how you want it. Um, I, it's also the wrong colour, so Control U. These are all quite. These are all destructive uh, edits that I'm doing to it. Obviously, you can do these non-destructively, non-destructively with adjustment layers. Um, and just bring that into the red, just raise the saturation by clicking colorize on the hue saturation, making sure you're in your reds there, and click OK. So we have a flare, nice and easy. Um, you could also add in um, a bit of a, a white glow by choosing a brush, getting your brush tool. Uh, getting a completely soft brush, you can change that up here. Completely soft, 0% hardness. Um, and then uh, I'm going to set the opacity down to around about 70%, just under. Get the brush size by using the brackets where I want it to be. I'm going to set this on a new layer and just click once. Maybe once more. There we go. That's nice, just a nice little glow at the end of the lightsaber there where the blade is emanating from. So there we have one other thing you can add in. You can add in a flare. Um, again, some of the, I'm going to show you a few different things. I might not use them all on this particular image, but I'm, I am going to show you them. Um, and some will suit some images, some won't suit some images, so you just have to kind of play it by ear. The other thing you might want to do is have maybe the atmosphere kind of interacting with um, the glow on the blade there. So there's a few different ways you can, a few different things you can do with this. So the, the way to do this is to add a layer beneath your lightsaber layer. So there's my lightsaber layer. Just to name it lightsaber, so you know. Um, and then I'm going to add a layer here called, um, I'll call it fog, um, just below. And I'm going to get a brush, and now I've got loads and loads of brushes, and you can find brushes all over the place um, online, as I'm sure you're well aware. Um, so do have a look online for brushes if, uh, if you need some. Um, and I'm going to get a kind of grungy brush um, here. I'll just quickly show you what this looks like. I'm going to there. With a black and one click. So there you go. It's kind of a smoky, grungy brush. Just that perfect for what we want to do here. So. I need the colour to be red, so we'll get a similar red to what we did for the lightsaber. Click OK, and then um, I'm just going to paint around here. There you go, you can see it just starting to 
come around there and it just looks like you know there's you know the glow from the blade is just interacting a little bit with some atmosphere um so you can do that and i'll get another brush down here now where is it um it looks like um some lightning uh, when i find it here uh, that that's the one now when i paint with this you get that which is quite cool so um this might take a little bit of trial and error because i've got to figure out where that center line is but what i could do actually is click hold down shift drag it down there we go uh, it's on a new layer and then transform it and rotate it into place so there we go um, place it there click OK now obviously lightsabers aren't don't have electricity flying off them so what you might want to do um, to this and possibly the fog layer that you've just created um, but certainly to this layer is do a blur so filter blur Gaussian, Gaussian blur and just again do it to taste I mean your image size will dictate or how much or how little you want to blur this and the effect that you want to get um, but I just want to blur it so it's not obvious you know what what the brush was um, but still holding some of the shape uh, that we created so you can just see it's kind of blurring out just that which is nice and that's what I want so there we go um, so um, nice and easy we have just created um, the lightsaber blade we've added a uh, flare and a glow and we've added some um, red glow, some kind of atmosphere glow around it. Now, one other thing you might want to do is um, these things don't operate in isolation. Um, we have a body here next to the glowing blade, which really should be picking up some of the glow from the blade. Nice and easy to do. Um, you just add a new layer above your um, subject change it to color a color blending mode on that layer get a brush get a nice soft normal brush not the lightning brush that I currently have go to there nice soft brush and we're going to make that layer clip to the layer beneath so it only affects um, the space where the figure is and then we're just going to just softly paint over where that glow from the blade would affect um, Miss Vader here. So go around the finger there, up her leg, just there on this leg on this side, just here. And just up onto her belt. A hand and arm just there like that um, and I might just also just with a really big brush very gently put a general glow there and I'm happy with that it actually does look like that's kind of glowing off her which is what I wanted to achieve and so there we go so that's it guys um, thank you for watching um, so there we go we have a uh, lightsaber um, done so we created a blade we added a flare and a slight glow um, at the handle added some glow around the blade itself some kind of atmospheric glowing and then a bit of reflected glow on the subject itself um, so some of these might be useful for you know any, your own kind of Star Wars based uh, pictures. Um, you might not want to use all of them. You might want to use just some of them, or, or you might just want to create the basic blade. But 
you know, whichever way you do it, you know, it's your own choice. Um, but I've hopefully given you some options and some things to think about. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, there'll be more videos to come, of course, in the very near future and more composites and that kind of thing. Hope you enjoyed this one and there'll be more to come in the near future. And uh, if you like this and you want to help and support me, uh, it's really easy to do. Um, just subscribe to this channel and watch my videos and share them on your social media. Brilliant. That's great and really, really helpful. Um, but if you want to go one step further, you can become a patron on my Patreon um, account link below uh, and that would be amazing and I'll see you on the patron only stream on there where you get to see some sneak peeks and things that other people don't get to see. So that's it, thank you very much and I'll see you soon. From the sky all around her so I, you know, I pulled some petals there and and uh, created that and I'll just kind of just hand painting adding in details making it not look quite so just cut out